So today I want to try and do a lot of different things. First of all, I'm kind of going to be forced to make a new building today and I'll explain why in a second. But another thing I want to do is go out and try to get some new team, some new like carnivore team that I can ride around on. And I don't know, you know, just maybe like a new direwolf, maybe a saber, anything like that size of creature is perfect for me. I have kind of been checking on some thylas up there, but I'm not really seeing anything super great. And also maybe a thyla is a little bit too advanced for me right now because I don't even have lamb chops to feed to it because that's kind of what they like or kibble, obviously, but I don't have that either. Anyway, so why am I being forced to make a building? Well, I, um, I unfortunately had to delete my single player save yesterday which had this whole building in it. And I want to try and do this before it leaves my mind because I, I, I liked the design that I came up with and, and all the like, little intricate little details and everything. So yeah, I just want to do it. This is going to be the general store and it's not going to be crazy complicated, but again, I just, I kind of want to get it done before I lose the idea of that. Um, the reason why I was actually forced to delete my single player was because, um, well, I, I, I was trying to make a thumbnail and I just couldn't because my, my game just kept crashing every single time that I went ahead to actually launch the game for some reason. Like every single time. I spent like 40 minutes trying to uh, trying to get it to not do that. But in the end, I realized, you know what? Like the only thing there is the fact that it's probably something in the world that's making me crash. And it was because as soon as I deleted it, got a fresh one, boom, I'm able to hop into Scorched Earth. So yeah that really sucked i just wanted to make a goddamn thumbnail but just no arc just was just like yeah you know you can't do that here today anyway so this is the general store like i said um we're gonna just work through the design here i'm gonna be reversing some of the structures because obviously we you know right beside this building we have the um the saloon and i don't want them looking the exact same because if i have here let me show you let me just go ahead and grab this skin if I go ahead and do that, you can see it looks different to that. Like, whereas, you know, if I if I had these on the normal way around, it would just look the exact same. So, I don't know, just trying to, like, add a little bit of uh, a difference to it. And also, we'll probably paint this one, too, to be honest, eventually. I don't know when. Um, paint is, like, such a pain to make because there's, like, 10 billion colors now, uh, which is great and all. But I don't know. I, I really struggle to actually be able to... Um, to make my syntax because I keep forgetting what colors I actually use for the hair and everything, which I had to do recently. Um, anyway, so guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you enjoy this one. I'm um, just gonna make a little bit of a frame here. And then, you know, I can probably grab way more of those. Why am I only grabbing like a handful? And then a couple of these as well. But yeah, I'm just gonna make like the frame and then I'll kind of like run through what we're actually doing. All right, so here is what we've got. We've got this whole frame made out of the uh, the quarter walls. And the reason why we have it done like this is because we're obviously gonna be filling in those other places with, uh, with windows and stuff. So right here, we're gonna have like an actual window. Uh, I need to snap it properly. There we go, cool. Also the same over here. Probably gonna go ahead and just snap a window in the middle there. Although I don't know what's gonna be on that side just yet. So maybe that window might look a little bit weird eventually. It might just end up looking out onto nothingness to be honest, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. And then right here is our doorway, which will make a double doorway. There we go. And right over this side, this is all gonna be just full on. Uh, let me see if I can get a proper snap point. Ooh, okay, let's just cycle instead sometimes it's nicer to actually just hit the cycling button instead of just trying to find the right area to point your cursor at um let's see so this this kind of goes out to the back which might be a bit weird because it looks out onto these little outhouses which i've made by the way i've made a couple uh changes to the inside well not really changes but just additions and stuff um a lot of people are saying that i should make uh two separate outhouses and i went ahead and did that and i went i did my best to create a male and female stick figure but it's not easy so yeah let me know what you think <laughs> this one's i i don't i don't know like this one's better for sure it doesn't line up but that's just the way that the characters sit in the um in the signs like i can't i can't shift them around or make any of like a change there i don't i don't know um i, d I think i did good <laughs> anyway so yeah, I'll show you the inside of the uh, saloon in a little bit, but first of all, let's just focus on all this. Just gonna switch these now. Oh my God, what is that turret shooting at? It's just nonstop. Terror bird, really? Oh my God. Yeah, this is why I need to uh, to go ahead and just get like a little 
pack of something around my area because i i'm not going to be able to keep up on that turret like it shoots so many bullets constantly it's insane um yeah trying my best to try and like block some spawns by placing down some like foundations and feeding troughs and everything around the place but yeah obviously it's not gonna do a crazy amount and i don't want to surround this place with like a gigantic wall obviously so we're just gonna have to keep building and, and hopefully eventually the creatures will stop spawning that would be great so um let's see oh hang on this uh maybe is it gonna be this one it might be this one this one might have to be a doorway let's see let's try and let's just snap it off of that and let's do that kind of doorway cool nice so yeah the inside looks like the outside on the other one which is a lot nicer actually you know this looks pretty nice in the inside i like it i definitely do um i think it works totally does nice anyway so the next step now is uh is filling in that next layer all right i should probably also get my little stairs ready i might actually go ahead and do that so what we're gonna have here is we're gonna have a like two little apartments above this general store um let's see let me see if i can get this right then Ooh, there we go nice oh wait crap no i meant to switch that to the stairs there we go and there we go nice so um yeah this is like a stairway that's gonna lead up and then right along here we're gonna have some ceilings coming across i need to check and see okay need to make sure that those wood um beams are going to be going in the right direction so hopefully we can continue that pattern um but yeah right along here is going to be kind of like a back uh porch kind of thing and then you know the there's going to be two little apartments right here on the very top just trying to you know make a good amount of uh use of the space that we're gonna have here instead of just like making like a full-on just like big block roof type thing oh my god that turret is driving me crazy what is it even shooting at a megatherium it looked like it was shooting up for some reason i don't know why but yeah just trying to make use of the, the space anyway so let's see get the rest of these down looks like they're all facing in the right direction which is great we love to see that so yeah this is like kind of like an exterior stairway just between the two buildings which i think is pretty nice actually and then you're gonna walk along here two doorways obviously i need to get all that stuff in first though all right so here's what we've got we're gonna have the two apartment entrances right there and there um we have this space in the middle that i'm probably not gonna make use of and i'll show you why in just one sec let me switch this back to a normal wall so obviously i'm gonna want it looking the exact same on the exterior as it does downstairs so we're gonna need to continue this pattern of course so let's just go ahead and do this and then just for example this isn't actually gonna look like that you know it's uh it's gonna be basically like that let's uh switch all of these so if i was to make use of this space in the center maybe bring this across by like a quarter um then one side gets this and then the other side gets this and i don't know i i don't really like that so i think i might just ditch this space in the center but keep the building the exact same size and everything and this will just be a little like hollow kind of area maybe i'll make one of these into like a secret door or something um you know just kind of like a way for me to get in there if i want to just dump some crap in there or whatever let's see so yeah there we go let's switch that to this cool so um yeah this is actually not gonna be there and i'm not actually sure i feel like these aren't actually supposed to be here either so let me see like i have one small image of it and it's actually just on the side of the saloon so i think i go like this so yeah basically what i have here is i have this is like one of the big glass windows so let's snap that off there and then this is also one of them as well and let's just go ahead and switch those over just so everybody understands what i mean so yeah that's that's what they will look like right there um let's see so snapping that off there yeah it didn't give me the backwards one though did it oh, there we go nice we snapped it off properly this time so yeah if we do that and then i'll probably leave the middle uh let's see there it is probably leave the middle as like a, a regular kind of a door maybe or a wall even yeah it didn't uh it didn't give me that backwards one just gonna switch all these over and yeah so there is like the rough kind of look at it um yeah i think it looks pretty nice one thing that i definitely wanted to do was have these big windows up here and then have the small windows downstairs because obviously you know if, if you just if you do the big ones upstairs and downstairs it looks maybe not as good i i kind of like that variety as well um but yeah anyway let's see so let me just section out the rest of this i think i probably do want to come over here 
by these. I, I can't remember if I did that or not. And we're just going to pop a window right there. We'll probably do the exact same here on this side as well. Um, it kind of looks out to nothing, but it's a way to air out your area, I'm guessing. <laughs> There's no other purpose to it. Oh, crap. That's a weird spot because, yeah. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I won't do these here on this side. No, you know what? I will. I will do that. And I think we'll add the window here then. Boom. Is that the correct way? It is. Cool. So, yeah, we'll put the window there. Uh, this will just be a regular wall then. Let me swap that over here too. All right. So, we're just filling out the rest of that. I've removed those doors because I think I'm going to want to keep my pattern of having these, um, these quarters all in the corners. So, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll put the door here then. Uh, that's not there. I always hit the, the one that looks like this one here like the railing the quarter wall whatever i always hit that thinking that that's a normal wall just because i think it, it it almost looks more like a normal wall to me for some reason um that's supposed to be a door god damn it so yeah here is like the apartment size it's not gigantic but there's gonna actually be room for like a little loft up above which is gonna look pretty nice um let's go ahead and actually get everything ready for the roof to go in so we're gonna snap that on there and then we're gonna put a wall onto that and then a wall there and then snap that up there there and then this one's gonna be here now this roof's actually gonna overhang a little bit which is gonna be quite nice so i might actually make this one a scaffolding one just because i feel like it might make more sense for it to be one because it's gonna look weird otherwise yeah that's essentially going to be what our roof is. Although I'm not so certain about the top peak because I'm I'm kind of tempted to put ramps up there instead of um instead of sloped walls. And the reason being is if we do ramps, we can have more of like a like less of like a sharp kind of 45 degree angle and it will like level out a bit more. They're not as tall or whatever. So yeah, I don't know. I might end up doing that instead, but I haven't decided. So obviously on this side, I still got some stuff to fill in, but that's good for the moment. Uh, let's get those switched over. I'm not going to fill in that top bit as well, actually, just in case I do want to do that. So um, let's see. I do need to grab some pillars because I completely forgot to grab them all again. And let's see. So in terms of the actual build, I think that's good for the moment. Um, the interior is going to have a door here that's going to kind of like lead into here. Where, Which way should I have that swinging out? Maybe that way, because then you still have room to get under here. This is just going to be kind of like a, a little bit of like hidden space here. Um, nope, that needs to be the other way because it needs to match everything else. Let's flip that. And then we need to get two of the quarter walls right there as well. And yeah, that's kind of like the back of the building. And let's see. Maybe I can make that one wall that I just placed in like an actual doorway or something. I don't know. That might be kind of good because you'd have access out the back or whatever. Uh, yeah, let's see. Boom. And that is correct. It's very hard to see in here. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's place that down for the door. We got that switched over. So I'm thinking like a big counter kind of coming across here. And then we're just going to probably put like a bunch of bookshelves or something over here. Uh, maybe some like random stuff in the corner. Um, yeah, there's not really like a whole lot of aesthetic stuff I could add in um as things to buy so i don't really know but um yeah I i'll do my best with it now i do want to say because i've been seeing a couple comments i don't want to add a bunch of like interior decorating mods and stuff because in my opinion you know they're they're a little bit there's like there's too many of them first of all i i well i'm speaking from survival evolved because i that's why i never really messed around with that kind of stuff there's too many of them and you know you can achieve something pretty nice with just the actual like arc stuff you know you don't have to add in a bunch of crazy things to get like something really really nice going and you know kind of like working with what you've got makes you a little bit more creative i think as well so yeah anyway here's the interior by the way of the saloon um not sure about the map might end up picking that up uh we've got some saloon rules here i just kind of looked up some actual rules that they would have had and um yeah i just made some of my own in terms of you know the wording no equus instead of horse uh, we got some chandeliers up on the uh, the rafters, I guess, up there. Uh, our bar is very well lit up now. Obviously, we've got, you know, just tons of these lights here, which is great. They're very expensive, though. Really super expensive. Um, 
anyway we got our our whole thing here we got more lights right there i placed this table here placed a couple things on top um kind of like move some things around this is something i really like actually i placed this tap coming out of the barrel and then put a, a little vessel underneath it as like you know a little tap with uh you know we're like filling this jug up or whatever i don't know <laughs> i placed down a um a preserving bin right here and just put some bottles up on top i moved the bookcase to there and then nothing's really changed out back and we've got a piano which is great um i did something really nice here actually i sunk this barrel into the floor and i'd love to show you how but if i do if i pick anything up around it i'm gonna end up having to spend like two minutes fixing it and i don't want to do that so i made a hole like this i just took out one of those i placed a normal wood table onto the actual ground and then i just placed the barrel on top of the table and then i had to go ahead and do some craziness to get a, a ceiling snapped there facing in that direction so yeah bit of a pain to actually get done but i got it done and i'm not gonna pick it up and try to show you and i'm, I'm sure you can understand why boom uh then i sectioned off this area right here as like the lounge kind of like the vip area the dung beetles in here of course he's always a vip um yeah we've obviously seen this here before with like a couple more details now um yeah jim's also a vip as well and then under here i just added some random boxes and stuff as like you know just clutter underneath the stairs um yeah we've got our vip area up here i couldn't think of like a better word besides something like on the vulgar side i think so i didn't really want to do that um but yeah i went ahead and just did some stuff here in the bedroom i did have a mirror here and i still have them but like i'm, I'm gonna be honest with you i you know i'm already somewhat struggling with the frames because there's a lot of like structure skins and stuff going on here and i don't know what this town's gonna be like in the end uh, there's a lot of lights and everything that's really not helping so maybe sometimes i might have to just turn them all off but the mirror is the biggest frame killer in arc like if you ever want somebody to just hate the game grab them put them into a room with like a thousand mirrors around them and then just like leave them there you know that is that's pure torture i don't think there's anything worse than that their computer will die probably you know if you if you hate somebody's pc maybe do that to them but yeah i had a mirror right here and i was i was getting like 10 frames in here it was ridiculous by the way i just went ahead and added like a little a toilet here and did the whole thing here with the uh with the jug um we got a toilet right here and we've got the window open because I took a mean shit in here earlier. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go ahead and close that. So, yeah, a um, couple more details to be done in here, of course. We've got the chandelier. Uh, I'll show you the other one because there's a nice little detail. Um, yep, that's that's the detail. Uh, <laughs> we've also got the toilet in here as well. It's handy because, like, we have this... Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to put one of this. It's like a secret door. Um, here, I can pick one up, right? Yeah, cool. We have this like random little like area back here which just serves no purpose or anything so it's kind of nice it's just like you know these extra spaces that then i was like okay well i guess i'll make use of that and i'll make like a little bathroom in here as well so yeah let's actually make this into a secret door and boom nice we got that on the right way cool so yeah we do actually have a way in here now um <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna put in there nothing weird guys trust me um anyway so let's go ahead and close that and close that and then i gotta put some more storage and stuff in here just to actually hide a bunch of my stuff um but yeah i've got uh, like an actual jailhouse door here as well i just thought it made more sense for a storage room anyway um i think that's pretty much all the details in here but uh yeah back to it what was i doing again so unfortunately it is super heat right now but we should be okay so the way that i actually want to do this is i want to snap it off of there so then we have like a little bit of an overhang which i'd love to show you there we there we go so you can see it overhangs on the outside by i guess the space of like a quarter um when i say a quarter i really mean a half but they're all called a quarter so i'm just going to try and get used to calling them that instead um so yeah let's see let me get the rest of these placed down yeah those two don't look too different i might be able to work with that I, i'm not sure which way i want the actual roofs to be but i definitely think that i i do want the ramps on here as well so let's see can we snap those up there we can okay cool so then let's do that um and then yeah let's just continue that across okay so that's what it looks like on the inside fully done let's check it out from out here um so yeah you know what like maybe if i did flip those roofs it would look a little bit more blended but i do like that shape instead of like the the sheer kind of 45 degree angle 
that's not as uh, appealing. Hello. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a lot nicer. It almost kind of reminds me of like a barn kind of roof or, or whatever, because they kind of like come in a little bit like that at like a uh, slightly less of an angle for the for the actual peak. Um, the only issue is obviously there's no piece that kind of fits in here. So what we'll probably end up doing is some railings there, and then not have this open to the elements. Maybe just have like a like a roof kind of on the inside to uh, to block that up or something. But um, yeah, we got a couple details here with the pillars. I'm probably going to snap them all the way down um, and then maybe go around the windows a little bit, I think. But yeah, maybe we should also flip those roofs. I'll just see what it looks like, I think. Um, the only issue is, is like, I don't want to see like the slates from the inside. I feel like that's going to look really weird. So yeah, let me, uh, let me see. So we slap that on there and then do that. And then, yeah. That looks very odd on the inside of a house, but it might be okay. Because, like, realistically, it's the exterior that really matters, right? Um, I feel like that almost suits more of, like, a barn instead. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I'm not sure if I want that or not. Yeah, I mean, just in general, it doesn't even look like they kind of match. I feel like one wood is, like, way brighter than the other let me do one on the actual side with some proper light to be able to see yeah that's like way lighter so what we're having to deal with then is we have that looking like that and then also we have the slates on the inside oh crap that's not the right one i don't i don't think i like that so what i think i i will keep the um the the ramps up here because i do like that aspect but uh, I think we'll keep these the proper way. And then maybe we'll just paint these to make it look like it blends in or something. We'll just paint them the same color. Um, yeah, nobody's going to even notice. It's just you you and me. Whoever, like all you guys watching this video, you're going to be the only ones who know about this. So let's not, let's not tell anybody else. Um, yeah, that works. <laughs> anyway, I uh, got to grab some pillars and kind of just, um, yeah, do a bunch of work here. I might also actually... Maybe kind of like build up the the front of it a little bit because a lot of buildings would have had that like an actual like almost like just a square front coming up um and then they'd have a sign on that it is like super heat and everything but there is a red drop over there i don't know if i can get to it and get back in time <laughs> maybe <laughs> let's see oh it's a red drop with a ring i think oh okay we gotta we gotta try this at least uh definitely not the smartest thing to do during a super heat but we'll we'll see we might be fine <laughs> here we go all right let me get over here oh yeah red drop with the ring please have something juicy let's see health is at 27 uh anything running at me doesn't look like it let's grab that oh i saw rockets that's all i saw uh rocket launcher did i get what did i get Oh, it's a silencer. Okay. Eh, definitely not a great red drop, actually. I've had better. I'm actually really excited to go out and start taming things because I definitely need more creatures and we are very close to death. We just... Ooh, no. Ooh, I'm going to die like in the air. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Yeah, super heat hurts. All right. So I've been doing a little bit of the uh, pillar work here, as you can see, just kind of trying to frame it out a little bit. I did some stuff with the thin pillars right there. I actually might bring that all the way down to the ground. I think that could look kind of nice on this side. Can't do that on the other side because the stairs is there. Uh, we have the entranceway here as well. Still need to add some more pillars from here snapping down. Um, I'm kind of liking this. And then that's where I have the sign for the moment, at least. Yeah, I don't know. I I'm liking it for the moment. Um, I might change my mind. Maybe on the the roof here, I might want to extend that out and have that overhanging on, on both sides as well. We'll see. But for the moment, it's good. Uh, let me show you what I'm working on upstairs. So I actually had to switch that from the scaffolding to a regular one because we're actually going to make use of that space on the inside. So obviously, I have ceilings above the little uh, balcony right there. And yeah, basically, that's this row right here. Let's uh, switch some of these. Are those all facing the right direction? They actually are amazing. Um, yeah, so just uh, again, just making use of the space up here. Um, and then if we put one of these, snapping it off of that. Boom, boom, boom. And yeah, we have like a little loft up here. So we got that ladder right there. Um, you know, just some extra space to add into this little home that we've created. Um, yeah, I'll probably do the interiors at some other stage uh, for the moment. Just kind of want to get it all done. We just got to do the exact same on the inside here. And it was pretty simple. Literally just a case of, uh, 
of getting one of these snapped onto the right spot here. There we go. And then I guess from there, we can go ahead and just snap off and then do this piece here as well. And then a bunch of ceilings. Let's see. Um, we need a layer here and then boom right there. Nice. And then a ladder. Which way, which side did I have on, on, on the other side? I feel like I'd probably want them the same. Okay. So like the inside, Oh my God. Like the, uh, the way that, um, maybe it's just my monitor. I'm not sure, but like the way that like the, the place kind of like lights up as I'm walking into places and darkens, uh, when I'm like coming out and everything, it's, uh, it's very strange. Um, these are going in the wrong direction. So I'll fix that after, but yeah, you get like the general gist here. Um, we'll probably end up just like having like this empty space up top here uh let's see let's do that and then we'll just switch those over as well nice so yeah just like a little bit of extra room i guess i don't know i figured it could be a nice thing to do um but yeah anyway for the moment that's all good interiors i'll do all of that at some other stage i want to get out there i want to do some taming so yeah if anybody has like a good idea for a name for the uh the little general store um I guess leave them down below. We'll, we'll try and get something. Um, yeah, we had a lot of names for the uh, for the saloon, and I actually I didn't even see the groggy galley. I was like thinking, like the drunken dodo. I think somebody commented that, and I was like, oh, that's good. But then I was like, no, I kind of want like galley related. So yeah, the the groggy galley is pretty nice. I just now realized that the text on that sign has gotten smaller. Let me go up there and fix that. Yeah, interiors. I'll finish all of that off at some other stage. You know, just uh, again, I just kind of want to get out and do something. Although now there is a superheat, so that's that's something. <laughs> Let's see. How does it look beside it, though? Let's just kind of take a step back here. Um, yeah, looking pretty good. Definitely looking pretty good. Um, I probably won't build all the buildings, like, completely side by side. Um, I might even step some back by just, like, one or whatever. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I like that a lot. It looks really cool. Yeah, definitely a, a nice building for sure. We need to figure out the roof and paint that. But besides that, I, I think it's looking pretty amazing. And I am probably going to add an extra roof here so it hangs over in this side in here. But yeah, maybe maybe I'll do that now. All right, let me grab some water real quick. Hello, Terror Bird. Hiding in a freaking rib cage. Screw you. Uh, What's he attacking? Really, bro? So unnecessary. What did that foundation ever do to you? Turd. Uh, maybe I can go grab some water. Here we go. Let me just show you what I got going on here before I potentially die again. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, we are very, very low in health. That's kind of what I got going on. I'm not super crazy about it. Obviously, the sign came down when I pulled down that one roof, but yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, I have to extend out these pillars then? I don't know. Yeah, L let me know what you guys think. We'll uh, we'll try and see if we can make this look better at some point. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's something weird about it. And I am about to die. You know what? The heat's not so bad when you stand directly on top of a ceiling that has an aircon right below it. Yeah, not too bad at all. All right, we're going to head on out. We're going to see what we can find. Um, like I said, you know, to be honest, actually, some dire wolves would probably help out. Um, I hope I haven't killed any good levels around here. We'll just kind of maybe skirt around the edge of the desert. We'll just see what we can find. Um, hello, terror bird. Level 20. Maybe, maybe I'll kill you. Might as well. Hey, come here. Come on. Oh, yeah. We got all the creatures coming in here. We got some sabers. It's got some babies. See, let me take care of all these guys. Everybody's level 10. I think that saber was also level 10. I seriously don't understand. What is the curse of the level 10? Like, what does it mean? It must mean something, right? <laughs> like, what does that actually mean? I really would like to know, game, why you're torturing me with, like, level 10 everything. <laughs> all right, come on. We're not getting headshots when we bite like this. So, yeah, we'll just... Oh, there we go. Nice. We got it killed. Sweet. All right. Let's see. What can we find? Um... I have Kaleen soup and cactus broth on right now, and neither of them are helping with the heat. Uh, neither is my pretty decent armor, to be honest. You know, I, I've been picking up, like, random bits from, like, drops and stuff. Uh, we got a pretty nice journeyman, um, what do you call it, desert cloth hat, which is uh, obviously 
supposed to be one of the better things to be wearing out here, but it doesn't really seem like it half the time anyway. So yeah, it kind of is what it is. Um, I guess I forgot how freaking uh, how actually hot it's been getting because I've just I've been able to stand around that aircon inside of my uh, saloon just like all nice and cozy. Hello, we've already seen these ones before, right? Yeah, definitely. You've got that pink on you. Pretty cool. Or purple or whatever color that technically is. Uh, let's get some high ground here. Let's try and see what we can find because like I find that this hill is actually really useful. You can see really, really far from here. Here we go. This is like the highest peak in this kind of area. I saw a Megatherium back here. Lovely you, bro. You are level 5. <laughs> oh, man. Half of 10 at least. Uh, at least it's not a level 10. That's all. Uh, we've got a level one jug bug, of course. That's the max level, actually. That's crazy. We can't make that joke about the jabos anymore. In fact, actually, I should probably be checking on the jabos. I definitely want a max level jabo at some point. Uh, we got some more dung beetles. I think you're that level five. We've already seen you. Um, yeah, let's see. Lamantria. I wouldn't actually mind one of those guys. Like, they're not super useful. But, you know, like... Uh, wait, is that a pego? Yeah, that was. I thought it was a baby saber. You know, we got we got a really good saddle for one, and you know, they they could be useful at some point. I feel like maybe just being able to fly up and see my my ba my base properly. Hello, hello, you. We've got a bunch of sabers. Oh, that's a direwolf. Uh, that's a level seventy. Okay, level one fifty. I'll take it. That's, you know, it's one fifty is not too bad. It is max level, in fact. Um, yeah, that's. That's really nice, actually, to be honest. Mm. That's a bit too nice. Um, what What's going to happen? What What bad thing does Ark have in store for me? Come on, just bring it. Just, like, you know, if, if it's going to get eaten by a death worm, just make it happen right now, please. Anything? Overseer, are you listening? No, I don't I don't see anything bad happening. Um, all right, we should be able to do it, right? I might... Hmm. I might make some darts for it, though. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'm going to make a tiny little trap as well. Just because that's a nice tame, and I don't want that to get screwed up. So let me get back over to my base over here, um, which we should start seeing appearing pretty soon. Yeah, let's let's get back over here. Let's um, let's try and do this the proper way and, and not get any sort of uh, mishaps happening or, or whatever. Yeah, we, uh, we don't want... <laughs> I was wondering what was happening. I was like, wait, what? Why did I like stop at the rock? Okay, hello. <laughs> That's great. Oh my God. Just like uh, no mishaps happening. And then I'm like immediately, I'm already inside of a rock elemental at that point. That's crazy. Hello, level 60. All right, are we still, oh, what was that? Did you just steal my shovel? Bro, can you like not? Can you just like, can we not do this? There you go. Ah. <sighs> Bird. Now I'm gonna have to fight this terror bird. Look what you've done. Oh, now I'm gonna have to fight this Deodon too. Look what you've done. It's a level 10. Why? <laughs> All right, let me take care of these guys. So in terms of structures, um, I had four of these fence foundations, which is gonna work out perfectly. We'll place those down around the saber. Then we will place down um, maybe like a door frame thingy and then walls on the rest of them and then we'll place a ceiling on top afterwards or whatever that's not super necessary for the actual trap so yeah we'll uh we'll of course bowl of this thing first um so yeah let me uh let me get all the way over here maybe try and lure to like a decent ish area um there's not really a decent area around here though is there where exactly was it now it was down the hill from that it wasn't too far away now was it i think it was like right over here Oh, that actually might be it. I'm jumping directly into it. Okay, I couldn't stop the jump because I didn't charge that jump. Yeah, you're the one. Okay. Um, Don't want to bring you over there because I can see there's some bad stuff. Hmm, maybe I should just tame you here. That might work. Although it's very slopey. I'm trying to think how well would that work. Yeah, I, I might have issues making the trap right there. Um, we technically probably don't even need one. I'm just I'm just overthinking it. I'm like, oh yeah, let's just let's build a trap for this saber. <laughs> let's uh let me bring you over here. Let me uh oh now you're you're chasing the wrong kangaroo, bro. That's not that's not me. <laughs> that that's that's a different one. Hello. What does that say? Level twenty five, okay. Hey, you want me. I am the cool kangaroo. Let me get over here. Uh yeah, so we'll just maybe quickly deal with all this stuff yeah i thought i saw you there little micro raptor 
I thought I saw one and I was like, is that an archer? But no, it was a Microraptor, of course. Let's see. Oh. <gasps> mm. Pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it. Um, uh, okay, crap. Yeah, he's, he's eating my guy. Let me just bola him. What else is that? Okay. Okay, let me... Oh, my God. I'm just going to bludgeon you to death with this thing. I swear. I hate these things so much. Why? Why are they like this? Stop existing, please. All right, let me get on. Are we good? Are we going to get attacked by another one? Hopefully not. <laughs> I'm just... I, my, my patience is gone. My patience for them is completely gone. It has been for years. I hate them. They're, there's no point of them. <laughs> they serve no purpose in the food chain. Except for, you know, providing, you know, ample survivor meat occasionally. There we go. There's, that thing's made boosted. So there's another one around here somewhere. I think that's it right there. But I need to, I need to try and get this guy. Let me see. Let me just, there we go. Ah, uh, now we're getting attacked by freaking dire wolves and everything. Why is everything terrible? Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Oh, that's one, four, five. What the hell's happening? Okay, hang on. <laughs> Let me kick you off the cliff, bro. Come here, come here. Follow me, follow me. Let's just bring you down here. Dude, we got a 150 out of 145. Pity that you can't breed cats and... <gasps> you can't breed cats and dogs. Oh my God, I'm jumping into another one. This is... Everything's awful right now. I knew something bad was going to happen. Didn't I say it? I can't have nice things. It's just nice things and syntax. Just, you know, no. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. <sighs> What's happening? Are, um, are we having nice things? It may kind of seem like it. Are you... Yeah. That looks like an archer, though. Is that... That's an... I don't know what that is. It almost kind of... Oh, did that not hit? Okay, wait. What? What are you guys? Are you the 150? No, you're... You're level 5. You guys are like... Freaking doppelgangers for your, for your friends or whatever. Hang on. Let me... Ah! Going all over the place here. Getting distracted by Microraptors. Getting distracted by nice... Uh, pretty Darwolves to tame. 145 is definitely going to be really good. Um, it will replace the 145 that I already had. Um... <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Are you the one? Oh, no, you're not. Okay, that's good. Um, all right. Unfortunately, I took all my freaking weapons off of my bar so I could, like, get the stupid trap thing made. Let's see. I'm overthinking this, I know. I just want it to be safe, though. Now I don't know where it is. What are you? Are you... What level are you? Level 5? You're not the one. That right there is an archer, right? That's definitely an archer. Archaeopteryx, whatever you call them. Um, where the hell did the saber go? Where the hell did the direwolf go? What are they doing together? <laughs> are we gonna get a cat dog here any moment now? Like, what's what's happening, huh? Where the hell did they actually go, though? I'm so confused. Um, they're not attacking that dodic. That Rex is really struggling with that level 50 wolf. Um, what are you running from? What the hell just happened? Did they chase me and then get lost? Everything about this right now is very confusing. Are you the one, one four five? If you're the one four five, then the saber's probably down here too. You're not. What is happening? Where did everything go? Why do Microraptors have to attack me? Hmm. What are you running from? You're running from something. Oh, Terror bird, of course. What the hell? They couldn't have gone that far, right? Right? What the? I was gone for like a second. What happened? So confused. Like beyond confused. Oh, go away, please. Please just go away. <gasps> eh. I mean, you know what? Hang on, hang on. Let me get you. Here, here's something to steal. Just, you have that, all right? You take that. You just go. You leave. You, I don't want to see you. <laughs> Let me just kick you now. Get you. Oh, my God. Whoa, I launched it into freaking orbit. Um, Nice. At least I'll know where he is now. Uh, I have... That's not the one I was... That's not the Rex, anyway. Um, I have no idea where these guys went. Like, they could not have disappeared that quick. Like, what? Just so I don't get confused anymore. You're definitely not the one. Okay, let me go ahead and kill you then. We, oh, that shot didn't count. That looked like it was perfect. 
We definitely don't need a doppelganger direwolf running around here. What level are you? 10. Terrible. Yeah, unfortunately now I got a bunch of freaking Rexes coming after me. Not great. Not great at all. Yeah, I'm... I'm... Are you the 150? No, what the hell's happened? Where did they go together? That direwolf came into that saber's life and they just... They've left and made their own life together. I have no idea. They were like right here. I'm so confused. Do they get stuck in the trees or something? Oh my... I have no idea where the hell... Oh my god, there you are! Is the saber there with you? Is, did you guys... What are you guys doing in there? I want to know. Yeah, you're the 145. Where the hell's that 150 gone? I'm so confused. Okay, hang on. Oh, what the hell? Where the hell did that bully even go? Alright. Oh, what? Oh, of course! Get out of here! You damn dirty terror bird. Stupid turd. Get out of here. Come on, just go, just go, please. There you go. Afterlife for you. Uh, let's see. I don't know if Terror Birds have their own version of the Gallimimus Overlord, but if they do, I hope he's with it. Bomb. Well, let's try and get this Star Wolf knocked out. Um, maybe he'll retreat back into the uh, the cliff over there. Is the Saber in there too? Like, I'm really hoping he is. Let me now try and lead the Star Wolf in here. Can we do that? Is the Saber in here? Definitely not, right? Wait, where the hell? Oh, there you are. Okay. Just want to get you in here and bully you. Okay, missed that. Lovely. Trying to turn. Trying to bowl out. I'm getting shoved all over the place. Now we're right, we have a stupid pego. Did I even bowl it? I did. Dude, what are you stealing from me now? You have everything. God, you're like an ex-wife. <laughs> like, why do you want everything from me? <laughs> Please, just leave. Ah, thank you. Do I get my stuff back? I got my spike walls. Cool. Now the direwolf's free again. Hang on. Oh my god, all these like annoying ass tiny little creatures just they they do not quit do they? Did that not hit bro you in there? Okay, that is very confusing All right, let me pop those onto there. Uh, by the way, this crossbow is a uh, one that I got out of out of a drop It's got like I think like 107 What? 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 That's not even where I'm shooting from yeah, it's got like 107 armor or uh, damage uh, where it's um, yeah brain fried brain brain fried Dire wolf taming saber wolf not found <laughs> Not even hit it at all. Just stay in here, bro. Please just stay in here. Okay Just uh, let me just maybe bully you again. I don't know. Can I even get a headshot? I know I, I can get headshots, but I'm probably not even going to try because if I move anymore, he might end up getting out. We got you up there to deal with now as well. That hit him, but it didn't count. Love that. Try and get this guy down. Please don't come down here. Ah, man, that's why you just need an RG early on. You can just drop them into a little box. Ah. You see me, don't you? Yeah, you do. Hello, sweetheart. All right, you and me are gonna go on a little trip to eternal darkness. If I can, are you? No. What are you? Oh, you're going after the terror bird. Okay, I thought that was the dire wolf knocked out for a sec. Uh, let's see. Let me get this on here. Maybe just shoot at you a little bit as we. Uh, yeah, I think maybe I'll just bite at you instead. That will probably be quicker. We can also kick you and, and do some decent damage. But maybe quicker to get this one done. I don't know. We're taking a lot of damage from you, though. Yeah. Need to make some flame arrows, actually. I think I definitely need some of those to deal with these bigger threats. Um, get some fire damage going with them. Um, so, uh, Sabertooth, still not found. Hopefully, I can find it. That was a 150. Like, I do not want to not tame that, you know? Like, we need that. That was a that was a good level. You're stuck, so I think I'm gonna take advantage of that. Just uh, we'll just do this for a little bit. Try and get you knocked, not 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 knocked, but killed. Uh, words are really difficult right now. 
I'm just like, I'm so baffled by what happened there. We just had a series of events. We find a nice level. Cool. Go back, get prepared. Come back out. Get to it. Microraptors, of course. You know, freaking other thing to tame, of course. More Microraptors, Terror Birds, everything, Rexes. It's just, oh my God. It's like an endless spree of just, you know, spatters being just thrown into the freaking mix and now i've got you attacking me again and i need to kill this turd before i try to tame you at all so yeah not uh not not really going my way now is it <laughs> can you please just die you're so bloody please just die i want you to be dead thank you come on come on come on hey there you go dire wolf enjoy your your meal and then that's gonna be your last meal as a free dire wolf because you're gonna be my friend um, also, I've wasted like 20 bolas because half of those ones just didn't count for some reason. There we go. Got you. Okay. I'm just going to try and knock it out here. I don't even care if this is not a great spot. It's fine. It, it will work for me. <laughs> don't actually know if it's close or not right now. So we'll just keep spamming. Um, I do want that saber though. So like I, I need to go look for that thing. But I have no idea if it's around here or not. So, yeah, I, I don't really know. Like, it couldn't have died, right? Like, there's nothing around that would have killed it that quick. You know? Okay, you're running. Cool. Had a feeling that would happen. I should probably get a tent, actually. You can you can body block things like that with a tent, right? Pretty sure you should be able to. Yeah. Not body block, but, you know, like, put it around them. They won't be able to run out of it or whatever. Um... Is the saber somehow in like this cliff as well? I don't see it. Like I'm just so baffled by what the hell happened. Where did it go? Like at what point did the saber just ascend? Cause I didn't see that happen. Yeah, I have no idea. Literally like zero idea as to how this could have happened. It wasn't tranked at all so it wouldn't have run off really really far like you know crazily yeah i have no idea it like it must have come down here somewhere oh uh, yeah of course you would go after that i'm not too bummed out about it because like i want the saber over the dire wolf but yeah i maybe i can wait for him to wake up again uh, like you know i'm looking for the saber that's what i wanted all along you know, we, we found 150. I, I gotta tame it. Where the hell is it? And also, I probably should have killed you, to be honest. Mmm, get out of here. Turd. Yeah, he, he ruined the direwolf, by the way, so we're just gonna have to let it wake up, maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Why did I come out here? I shouldn't have done any of this. Hang on, let me eat some food. Ah, God, these guys take so long to kill. God, yeah. This is why we need, like, a creature like a saber or a direwolf. Like that one there that I knocked out and then left. Um, ah, man. Yeah. It's taking so much damage. Herbivores take so long to heal as well. Not great. Fine, we'll just keep going at it. He's kind of not attacking me a huge amount right now. Bite his ankles. Ah, yeah. I don't know. I should have just put some spikes around it immediately, but, uh just i'm i want that saber where did it go <laughs> there's another rex over there and it's very pretty looking damn that's a nice rex um but about that saber what is that dead pego i did that didn't i <laughs> oh man yeah that uh at least the dire wolf's already you know he's waking up a little bit <laughs> You know what? Let's place our stupid little trap around the dire wolf. And then once it wakes up, I can I can get it uh, knocked out again. It's all good. We're not gonna waste anything besides a couple tranks. And those are essentially free with the amount of berries that we have. Um, man, yeah. Not, uh, not going my way here today now, is it? Like I said, though, you know, there's always got to be something. There's, there's, there's always going to be something as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't have nice things. It just doesn't happen. Um, though, to be fair, this one was on me. I, I'll, I'll take full responsibility for that. But I really want that saber. And I don't know where it went. <laughs> Let's see. Can I... Is that is that placing up there? Yeah, it's probably not gonna because of the tree. I'm gonna leave that there, though. It's fine. That that should be okay. 
unfortunately there's a scorpion here now as well which is great um where is the saber though like seriously please what the hell oh you can't yeah i forgot you can't do the cool jump in k mode where did it go like tire wolves don't like they don't fight sabers do they i don't think i've ever noticed that before like that's got to be the only explanation that direwolf ate that saber so i wouldn't tame the saber and i tamed the direwolf instead oh my god is that baby megatherium raging oh my oh get away <laughs> there's two baby megatheriums there and they're also raging that's terrifying why would you give your kids meth that's not a good idea <laughs> oh my god yeah no is that guy still coming megatheriums are scary scary yeah do not mess with them but the babies though the babies are even high as well that's crazy yeah don't do that uh don't do drugs kids but also don't do drugs with your kids uh these rexes are beautiful i wish that they were good level that is actually a really nice looking rex is that glacial blue looks like it oh man that's awesome the babies cool as well um yeah, I think I'm just going to have to accept that this saber is just non-existent. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't understand. I have no idea. Like it was right here. We're like, where, where could you have gone? Realistically, like it must've glitched through the map or something. I don't know. This freaking Rex now we got to kill. Yeah, we're going to have to kill you. Kill you, kill your baby for some prime. Oh no, the Megatheriums. Are the baby megatheriums gonna attack me? Like, that's terrifying. I have no idea what they're planning. Let me see. Can I maybe deal with this guy? You're doing a good amount of damage for, like, okay, there we go. That's because you're. Are you mate boosted? Oh, you're probably parental boosted. That's why. That makes a lot more sense now. Um. Yeah, let me try and hurt it a little bit this way. Yeah, that is so scary. The fact that the baby megatheriums actually get the rage boost. It's weird, though, as well, right? make a whole lot of sense i guess you know they're probably just hard-coded it probably happens when it's your own teams as well i've just never noticed it <laughs> let's see oh my god look at you with like your bloody nose foam come on bro no don't you be healing don't you dare try to heal there's no healing here oh my god damn it oh, we got vultures vultures are scary we don't like vultures Vultures create dead Reginalds, as we've found out recently. <sighs> Just like walking backwards, fighting on a kangaroo. Getting chased by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Times are weird. <laughs> You've just abandoned your baby as well. Here we go. There you go. Enjoy. Oh my god. What was that neck? All right. Um, so. If I... I'm, I'm going to take another little look for the saber. Are you, are you like, what are you? Are you Rex? Like, are you a Rex magnet? Why are they like congregating around you? <laughs> I feel like that one's new. I don't think I saw that one a minute ago. I feel like you're going to get attacked again. I knocked you out in the worst possible spot, didn't I? I really did. I really, really did. Hello, you Megatherium. Please don't, please don't just stay away. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to have to go over there and kill your babies in front of you. Um, yeah, no. This is like an awful spot to tame anything, to be honest. We got disappearing sabers. We've got dire wolves that just have rexes as fans. Um, yeah. Not, uh, not great. Not great at all. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me get this thing killed. Oh, it's, it's already really bloody. Only a couple more shots here. Let's see. I could probably stop wasting my bullets and maybe just actually fight it. Although my guy is pretty low on health, so yeah, he's at like fifteen hundred now, so not not great yet. I don't want that baby Rex, by the way, so I'm not gonna. Don't expect me to claim that. Um. Yeah, no. Again, uh, like, am I am I silly to just assume that it's still here somewhere? You know, it's probably long gone. Like the the saber and the direwolf clearly fought or something and the direwolf ate it because they're stronger i don't know i just wanted a saber you know we find a 150 
Am I wrong to want that? <laughs> uh, well, you know what? The silver lining is at least the dire wolf was a high level. Because if that wasn't, then we would have just lost a saber for no reason. Yeah. I don't know. What is this? Ooh, what kind of egg is that? Ooh, okay. Camelsaurus, which is actually Morelotops. Which, it's still weird how they didn't even change that as they supposedly remastered this game. <laughs> anyway. Um, let's see. Another Rex there. Yeah, okay. I'm accepting it. The saber's gone. I don't care if you see it on the screen right now. Oh, is it up there in the sky, maybe? Well, you know what? It's fine. I don't want timestamps. Please don't leave them. I don't see it. I don't know where it is. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, man, yeah. All right. Anyway, you know what? I think I'm going to get this thing all tamed up. But I think at the same time, we're probably going to end off the episode here. We've had enough torture for one for one video. This is a pretty clean cut case of letting it wake up and then re-knocking it out again. Maybe dragging a body over first, to be honest, because it's pretty low on health. You know, knocking it out again and then feeding it. Yeah, not not anything crazy. Um, we'll just I'll go ahead and get a tame. We'll have a tame for the next episode. Or maybe it will die between videos. Who knows? We got a sandstorm coming. Guys, that's going to be it for today. If you have enjoyed this one, regardless of the fact that I'm going a little bit insane, uh, do be... Do me a favor by hitting the like button and um, yeah, I will, I'll catch you in the next one where maybe we won't have something like that happen again. I'm gonna go review that footage as well. I want to know what happened if there is anything in the archives. <sighs> Rip that save.